the working man, more specifically the laborer. I've uh, been a laborer all my life. I've never wanted to be anything else. And uh, as as time goes on, you know, I started working full time uh, in my as, as a teenager. I see the same problems over and over again, and hear the same complaints. And I feel that I'm quite lucky that I must have picked up on some things early. And uh, and those have served me really well. I've uh, I've never lost a job. Uh, I tend to land the interview, and uh, my work uh, place. Uh, I tend to be received there uh, from from neutral warm to uh, to uh, uh, I'd say uh, quite accepted. I think that some basic factors are uh, uh, I'm there to work. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say there that I'm there to work really hard. I'm there to do a good job. Um, so like you know, I don't know. Imagine like how much you would do if you were uh, working on your own home and winter was coming on. Um, well, I'd work half that hard for somebody else. And I think that's, I think that's fair enough. I mean, I think that uh, no one's going to overpay you. Uh, no one's going to, no one's going to shower you with money uh, because you broke your back on their uh, uh, the construction site. Um, they're they're going to give you a decent wage, that's for sure. And uh, you should give them a decent, stay, decent day's work. Uh, so on that, even working, let's say I'm working 50% of uh, what I could do anyway. Uh, I keep that up year-round. I'm there every day. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, like for instance, uh, I'm out of uh, uh, copper nails because I'm doing a roof. And uh, copper nails are about uh, 30 minutes away and they're coming. Uh, I'll go work with somebody else for 30 minutes. I'll walk over there and see what they're doing and uh, start working. And it doesn't matter who that person is. It absolutely does not matter who that person is. That person might be somebody that has been really disrespectful to me in the past. Um, you know, maybe the, one of the worst hazers you could imagine. Um, I'm not there to uh, help him out. I'm there to work. So if he's near me and he's doing a job I know, I will, uh, I will grab a, uh, you know, a hammer and get to pounding uh, you know, in his sight. And I'm not there to claim any credit either. Another thing is uh, is complaining. Uh, if you might have some suggestions that uh, will, might make the workplace uh, a more, uh, I'd say it, it might it might make your employers more money. It's like if you know, if there's a, if there's a problem, if there's delays and things, if certain things are dangerous, um, and you might you might point that out. And the thing about having someone claim your idea, if you tell uh, if you tell your boss, have you, do you know that there's this way to uh, secure people so that they, uh, we have you know, less uh, slip damage in this area? Um, and your boss is unaware of that, and maybe you might know it from another company. Uh, and then your boss institutes that and gets some credit, maybe gets a good bonus for no, uh, no uh, workplace uh, accidents while he was on the job. Then good job. Like, you didn't, you didn't need to claim that actually that made you valuable to the team it made you valuable to your boss and uh, you know that was a good job that you did you know and how much and how much effort does that take to come up with an idea uh, especially if that idea comes from uh, another work site you know so it's 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 really an idea that uh, you you accrued uh, through working elsewhere but even if it was flat out your own um, if you choose to uh, to drop it there on that company, that's uh, that's whoever hears it. Uh, um, that's their information now, and whoever uh, whoever uses it, uh, they're going to get the value from that. And uh, I'd say in, in almost all cases, uh, they're going to recognize the value of uh, your suggestion. Yeah, I think I think those are uh, a couple uh, great basics. It's always served me really well, and. Um, so I thought I thought I would uh, I'd throw that back out there uh, to the worker, um, who frankly I've always I've always appreciated. I think that people who uh, uh, are out there doing the doing works of a physical nature have chosen that on purpose. Um, they want uh, they want to get some money, and at the end of the day, they're done. And 
that's uh, that's a simple life, and uh, that's the life I want. All right, working man. I'll buy you a beer later. See you in the tubes.